Here we go. You're the new Jordan Peterson. Nothing. I'm just giving you a ring. I didn't. I didn't record that session yes uh, yesterday. That was a good one. Um, we talked about a lot, right? We talked about you know your ex, the folks. Um, yeah, about drinking. I said I typed up that teetoler one today. Um, now this is well about Reenie and Louie. JB, like, so I, I'd asked you yesterday about what I always thought was amazing, and especially in today's day and age, is that the folks, your parents, always had something to talk about. Now, it, it, as you would say, it was juvenile and erudite -ish and, and foolish what they were probably talking about, and I overheard a lot of it. Um, but, you know, in today's day and age when people are on their cell phones all the time, I thought it was kind of cute and romantic. But you just, you did, you just shrugged your, your eyes yesterday saying that, you know, that wouldn't, of course that wouldn't have been your relation. You'd, you wouldn't have wanted that conversation. But well, I, yeah. Louis, Louis was, uh, he was just, he was, he was singing on the cell yeah. You know? Yeah. And they would, they were, they would take, they were doing shot me, shot me. Right. You know? So they stared there. Right. Uh, I never had a, I never had a really a, a discussion. Yeah. When did you, do you remember what age were you when you really, well, I mean, you were in high school and you were in the basement, but when you really just, right. just, I mean, was that about right? When you were 17, 16, 17, you just disconnected. You just had nothing in common with Rini and Louie at that point. I, it wasn't so much that I had nothing in common. Well, yes, I had nothing to connect with them. Right. You know, right. but it wasn't so much. I didn't really go away from them. I just left them. Right. I mean, I had other things that were real and interest to me, you know. Yeah. And not with them, that's all. And then what was interesting, you know, I always got along with Charlene. And I know it's, you know, it's a touchy subject. It's your ex-wife, but... You remember I had asked you, and just to repeat from yesterday, you know, I was asked, I asked you, we were working out after you divorced Charlene, and I asked you, you know, Unc, why did you guys get separated? Why did you divorce? And you said, because we ran out of things to say to each other, right? Well, yeah, it, it went deeper than that, you know, but uh, yeah. we really didn't, we didn't have a deep, uh, what's the word? Uh, I think the word I can't come. We didn't get along on that level. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So how goes it? How goes it? How it goes, goes it right. on the other side of the planet? You're all right. Yeah. Well, don't, don't, don't call, don't you dare call it quits on me now. I'll be seeing you in a month, less than a month. So don't you dare call it quits. Um, well, that would be good. Yeah. So while well, I'm definitely coming, so yeah. But this online business is just, it's a joke. It's just, it's so saturated, right? Because you've got these teachers living in the cheap Philippines, living, you know, in, in cheaper Southeast Asia online that are willing to, to to work for you know this type of pay. So I'll see what what this new group, this Korean out, out outfit. I like the Korean South Koreans have some of the best English. I mean they're really and smart people. The South Koreans. Um, yeah. So I like I like the platform, but it's just you know you, you basically they're not even students. They just want to practice their fluency. So they'll just, they're basically just call-ins, right? That they, um, yeah, call in and you just chat them up. 
Now this is a new one with you, JV. Why are you uh, with your eyes? This has been a new one just this last week. Why do you blink your eyes? And are you just because you're? Uh, no, I don't know. That's they're fine. All right. Nothing wrong with them. I just maybe you know I need to. I'm good. All right. So and then yeah, I'm just dreading. You know, I don't know what the food price is. I get that breakfast at um, the hostel, which is pretty good. I've had it before. I just eat, you know, I don't eat the yolk. We talked about that. Isn't that the yolk is just full of cholesterol, isn't it? And the egg. What are we talking about? Egg? About eggs, eating eggs. The Asians love eggs, yeah, but I always, I take out the yolk. The yellow part, because I always thought it was full of cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Nah. Nah. No, you're saying it's no. Still, it wasn't, it was big, you know, but it was not, it wasn't, it wasn't red by the, by the sun. All right, I'll have to research that online after our conversation. Um, so, yeah, I'm just nervous about. The prices, it's a different economy over there. It's not a controlled, you know, I just, I've been reading this uh, one book. I'd like to bring it to you, but I don't know if you'd get a chance. You know, you don't like reading books anymore. But about, you know, this is a controlled government economy. So the, you know, it's never really that high of inflation. They can suffer unemployment, but boy, you know, I, I'm just nervous about some of the, Food prices, even McDonald's, is ten bucks for a hamburger in in Chicago. So, but it's only twelve days. I don't know. You're you you're getting food delivered by Red Door, so you tell me the prices. How like how often are you still doing that? Once a week, twice a week? Yeah, a little bit, you know. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's part of the. Part of the way things are. Well, right, but what does it cost you? What do you What do you get? Chinese food, or what do you normally get? What's your favorite? Um, yeah, I like I like Asian. All right. Well, then Asian what? Number. Well, then what's your what? How much does that run you when you when you have it delivered by DoorDash or whatever? I don't know. Bucks. Yeah, fuck Jay. <laughs> you that's a that's a family of of three here in China that can eat 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 off well, that. That, yeah. that, includes, that includes the uh, the, the visit. Right, you know. right, right, right. Round itself is about ten, ten right. and by the time the service is taxed and you get someone to deliver it. No, I know, and the gas and all that shit. What did um the the last one that we did, we touched upon yesterday is that it, it Louis? Well, you said Louis never. You never saw Louis drink more than three glasses of vodka and soda, whatever the vodka and Seven Up, Louis. Now, did 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 the geezer put back? Beer? Did he drink more than three? Or, did he get? He got loaded. The geezer. That's what I heard. Louis used to have to pick him up in the Model T Ford at some of the Prohibition joints. The geezer. I don't remember that, but I never saw him get drunk. You the, know, he'd have a couple. He'd have. He'd have. He'd have a uh, beer when he was. Right, but did you, you know. did you ever remember your grandfather, the geezer, getting getting drunk, getting wasted? And he drops away. Do you remember the geezer ever getting, you know, getting inebriated? Well, that's what I'm saying, no. Oh, oh okay. No. And Rini wasn't, yeah, Rini wasn't a big drinker. I definitely, I think I got... My drinking, my binge drinking from the tomb side, that's for sure. Um, now, why is it? Why do you, I mean, do you, well, genetic, I think partly it is. 
But why did why did you you just if I asked you this before you just never liked the feeling of losing control, right? Of your of your mind. Well, that's yeah. I would say that's probably yeah. That's mostly uh, that. it. Doesn't do anything new. Or I, I like my, my brain to be I, the way I like to be. You know, and I didn't like to lose my brain. Right. I liked, well, I don't have one to begin with, so that's not a problem. <laughs> what did you, uh, but uh, also you said you just didn't like the taste, so that makes sense. You just don't like the taste of beer. And... Yeah, I don't think I like the taste. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I didn't. But part, partly because of the things I just talked about, you know. Yeah. I mean, I like the I like the taste of it, you know. But you know, one beer, two beers, I'm done. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I think for me, it's like if I'm, you know, well depressed. I've always like, you know, with Carrie or something that I cannot control, then I'll I'll go on a binge for about, you know, whatever, twenty hours. Um. But I'll drink after after three or four. I'll keep drinking until I'm passed out. But that's like you know once a month or something like that, you know. Yeah. Um, then I, I can just I never do that. yeah, and then I can just have one or two a night and be happy. Um, talk one last one last one about circadian rhythms, right? So now it's like, it's so hard for me to stay up past eight o'clock. I remember having this conversation with you many, many years ago in Astor when I was younger about circadian rhythms. Now, I mean, you said there's some people, it, it doesn't matter. Some people can function off five hours, right? Eight hours, what have you. But like my brain just shuts down past like I'm very I, like if I'm playing chess, it's a morning thing. I can rock and roll online playing chess. My my wits are about me. I teach better everything about it. But past six or seven, I just shut down. I mean, is this something your circadian rhythms that you cannot change or is this just how we're born? What, what you're saying is. After five years of talking? I, I'm saying our circadian rhythms of how we, our body clock, right? Right. Is this genetic? Is this how we're born? Because after like six or seven o'clock at night, I'm shut down. I just watch a movie and I can go to bed like at seven or eight. But then I get up like sometimes at four in the morning and I'm ready to teach. I'm ready to rock and roll. Whatever, yeah. Well, I'm asking you, is it genetics? You're the big physiological guy. Well, that's, a, that's how it used to be. I mean, they, you know, they would, before the, in, in electric, before the electric, you know, they'd get up in the middle of the night. And right. They, they redo the, uh, the iron, the, the iron, the, the yeah. Fire. Yeah. Have a nice, and have a nice side. Well, Rini yeah, would always have... use that farming <laughs> expression: the early bird catches the worm. But now it's like online. Everyone, you know, I'm losing teaching hours because I don't teach at night, right? Because that's a lot of a lot of people stay up and they're addicted to the internet at night. So I guess my question is, like, can I? I mean, should I force myself? I just don't feel like I'm a, a good a better teacher in the evening because of my own body clock. Well, this is before the winter, the, the, the Wi-Fi. Right. Now, everybody's up whenever they want to be up because they can do business on the Internet. And now there's, I, mean, I think yeah. I'm losing opportunities with students in the evening, I'm saying, because I'm, I'm shut down. I'm, I'm worn out. At like six, my eyes shut down, my brain. Well, everyone does their own way. I mean, some are like that, some are do it another way. You know. Right. right. Yeah, right, 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 right. 
Oh man, so I'm exhausted. I'm just I'm like, this is it's it's coming in for the landing, JB. I'm like, you know, I've got it because then when and when I'm done in Chicago, I say goodbye to you. I fly back. Um, then I wait for this an invitation letter from the university, and then I've got to coordinate going down to Hong Kong for three or four days to get my new business visa. So that's not going to be cheap, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So my wife knows it. Um, I'm hoping not to beg my, my son's godfather. I don't think you ever met him. He's, you know, the flight attendant, a uh, great man. And, uh, yeah. So, but we'll see, I might have to, you know, just to get through. Um, so we'll see, but all right. Yeah. I just wanted to, I was, I was disappointed that we weren't, that I didn't record it. You know, you, I've got your own channel now on YouTube. So we've had some good conversations, right? And then I hope to, uh, I'll think of some more questions for you. You know, I've always considered you one of the, the smartest people I've ever met in my life. So um, I love you, man. I love you. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So maybe I'll give you a ring tomorrow. All right. So how, what did you eat for tonight for dinner? I don't even remember. <laughs> what it was it was that enlightening and that delicious that you just couldn't yeah. it didn't look bad. I said, I mean, come on. So I'll be picking off your plate. I'll be so broke coming to visit you. I'll be picking off your plate. But all right, sorry for the short um come and go, but I'm just trying to trying to be online because it's like I've got to be on standby for students, right? So Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love you, man. I'll, I'll try bringing you in tomorrow or the next day. Sounds great. All right. Love you, JB. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.